good people, in my hands is going to be the new Razer Moray in-ear monitors coming in at $130. I'm happy to see a big company like Razer coming out with some IEMs and getting people kind of excited about this style of headphone. So let's see if the Razer Morays have a spot for you inside your shopping cart. Now to actually see if these IEMs are worth it, I'm gonna put them through a couple series of tests here. From listening just to music, from recording a live instrument, and of course, what they're built for, playing games. So this video might run a little bit long, but I wanted to actually give the Mores its ultimate test. So timestamps will be found uh, in the description below. And of course, before we begin, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And of course, first things first, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see what's inside the box. So let's go to our top-down shot, see what we get. All right, so the first thing you're gonna get when you open up the box is it looks like the manual for the Mores, and of course a Razer sticker, and just look at the presentation of these IEMs. I love how Razer is showing these off. And under the foam, you're gonna have a Razer branded hard shell carrying case, which is always a nice thing and inside the accessories box with looks like small, medium, and large silicone and foam ear tips. Now the Mores do come pre-installed with the medium foam tips, but I actually switched them over to the smaller foam tips and that's all you get. And real quick, let's just go ahead and talk about the build quality here, which is simply put, just really good. The ear pieces are made out of a shiny plastic, so they're real light feeling in the head. Uh, the shine is a little bit of a finger magnet, but let's get real. If you're playing the stream with these things on, I don't really think people are going to notice. And I do like the small little razor branding printed on the sides here. It's just all very clean. The braided cable is also really nice. It's also pretty long, coming in at 1.6 meters. I do wish the cable here on the ear curve had a little piece of molded tubing that curves around the ear like you'll find on some other IEMs. I find that they kind of flap around on my head a little bit. But other than that, perfectly fine. And in full transparency here, these are actually my first pair of IEMs. So the Mores have actually acted as a bit of a gateway drug for me to get into the IEM space. So since I've had these, I've bought two more IEMs to get a better taste of just kind of how this feels. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to compare the Mores to the ESTs or the Moondrop Arias that I have here, or if you want to see any other model uh, put head-to-head -head here with the mores. However though, I will say putting the mores into my ears, I can tell that these are just going to be really comfortable. I honestly feel like I could put these in and just kind of forget that they were there. And then just real quick, let's get into some tech specs here. The mores use a hybrid driver, they use some dynamics and a balanced armature driver with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 24 kilohertz. And they have an impedance of 32 ohms and a sensitivity of 106 decibels. Also, the cable that they use here is going to be an MMCX connection, so that's great. You can always switch the cables out and use whatever ones you want. Let's actually start getting into the sound of these mores. That's actually why you're here, right? So, but before we even get into that just a little bit, I want to take a look at Razer's marketing, okay? So if you actually look into their marketing here, you can see some big words that they use. They say things like all day streaming, all day comfort, and non-fatiguing audio. Now, there's actually a good reason why I bring this up, and in fact, it's going to be kind of a theme throughout this whole review. And just really quick, let's actually look at this audiograph here from Critical. You can see that the Moray here has a nice little lean base that curves downwards at the 500 range and boosts up at about the 2000 range, and then it kind of like drops off like a steep cliff here in the treble frequencies. So just looking at this, you can already assume that the Mores are going to have kind of this A-shaped frequency response and tuning. But let's see if this is going to be a bad thing. So let's start off with some music listening. Now when most people think about music listening, they usually assume that they're going to be using three different types of devices here. So mainly use our mobile phones, our PC, and some people use a dedicated device. So let's check it out. So with that, let's go ahead and start on the phone. I actually used a Razer dongle that I had from my Razer phone days and plugged it into my Pixel Fold here. And then I was playing all different kinds of music from metal, country, and EDM. And I could honestly tell that the Mori sounded very dull. The mids came front and center, but the bass on most songs were muddied and had almost no separation. The same could be said for the crash of the cymbals and the high-end sounds, but was it kind of bad to listen to? Not really, honestly. I felt that I could have just forgotten that I had these on and continued just going on about my day, but let's be honest, it kind of made me feeling just wanting a little bit more. 
And moving right along to my dedicated player, I do happen to have a turntable here, so I was able to play a couple albums of vinyl, and I honestly ended up kind of feeling the same way I did about the phone. Once I moved over to my PC, however, that's when I immediately just booted up my EQs and set it where I thought it would eventually sound good. After doing that, I felt the Maurice actually sounded pretty good and I could listen to music on my PC honestly without having any kind of issue. Now my experience with IEMs mainly comes from my days of playing music with live bands, so I was really curious, could you use the Maurice as a live stage in your monitor? Uh, to say you're just like a musician like myself, you want to play games, and you kind of just want an all-in-one package, so how are these things really going to sound? And this is actually where it becomes kind of a mixed bag, and the reasons why I say that is because I can only really speak from a guitarist standpoint and point of view, but when I was playing uh, E standard tuning, whether it was acoustic, a little bit of a crunch, or like, like a blues kind of style tone, uh, the Mori has actually performed perfectly fine. Is it the best audio quality that you're going to get? No, I wouldn't say that, but I could still hear the drums. If you play to a click, I could hear the click perfectly fine, and I could understand where I was in the mix, and the guitar was perfectly audible. I could hear everything. So if you're playing in those kind of terms, I, I honestly think you could use the mores for that, but just not the best audio quality. And the second they fall absolutely flat is the second that you try to play any kind of metal or heavy rock or anything that's using an awful lot of double bass in there. Uh, in my metal bands, I mainly tune to C standard, so this guitar that I'm playing here is gonna be turned tuned to C, and I didn't even bother recording the mix because I couldn't hear anything. It was so muddied, so just distorted, it didn't sound good. Uh, I hooked up my pair of Moondrop Arias here and was able to hear it perfectly fine. So for metal artists, I honestly, I wouldn't recommend the Mores at all. Now guys, let's actually use the mores for what they're intended to be used for, what they were built for, and that's gonna be gaming. So let's go ahead and use my streaming overlay here. And remember what I said about Razer's marketing and that's all really about the comfort? Well, this is really what they mean by that. So after playing a couple rounds of Apex or Battlefield, and I played a couple story-based games, this is where the tuning response really came into play, all right? I didn't feel completely overwhelmed by any of the sounds I was hearing. Uh, I could just comfortably sit here and just play games and honestly just forget that I was wearing IEMs. Now for story-based games, I just immediately turned on my EQ settings that I had in Wavelength and the mores just really just came to life and ended up sounding pretty good, very similar to the music experience that I had. But then when I went back into some FPS games with my EQ, I found, yet again, it was a little too much and it ended up actually hurting my ears. And there were times where it was just way too muddy, especially when you had, like, in Battlefield, helicopters flying above you, bombs going off over here, a tank flying by over this way. It just became too much. I ended up just kind of wincing through some of it. But here is actually where it does get just a little bit interesting, all right? So... I decided to take the mores and run them through my Razer Audio Mixer and then route THX Spatial Audio through my mixer. And since Razer owns THX, I kind of figured this was a no-brainer, right? Well, to my surprise, the mores absolutely came to life. It almost felt like I had a different pair of IEMs on. Games just absolutely sounded better regardless of the type that I was playing. I could determine footstep locations, 
Music sounded just as good as the kind that I EQ'd with the Wavelink, and who knew that the secret sauce to a Razer product was to use more Razer products? But honestly, not all of us want to use Razer Synapse. Sometimes I don't even want to use Razer Synapse, right? So I completely and totally understand that. Well, I can safely say that in terms of just audio, I didn't really mind them at all for FPS games. And you could say that even for story-based games, it really altogether wasn't that bad. But just kind of like in the music category here, it just made me feeling wanting a little bit more. And all right guys, we've actually gone over quite a lot here, and I feel like I do have a solid idea on what the mores actually have to offer. And yet again, this is where the Razer marketing team has just done a fantastic job. The biggest selling point of these IEMs is just gonna be comfort. And I would even say that the comfort of the mores is actually a higher priority than the audio of the mores, all right? When it comes down to gaming, I do end up preferring the sound of the mores because honestly, I just find them a little less fatiguing than some of the other IEMs that I own. But if you buy these simply for their audio quality, simply put, you're just gonna be disappointed. And I also just can't stress enough just really how comfortable these are, right? Razer did do a great job with making these fit in your ear very nicely, and they're just super comfortable, lightweight, and most of the time, I actually just forget that they're there. And finally, guys, to wrap up this entire review, should you buy the Razer Mores? Honestly, I can't recommend these things. Razer is asking $130 for these IMs, which is just jaw-droppingly high. Because honestly, in my opinion, these things should be around $60 or maybe even $50, right? Just mainly because of just how single-use case they are. They are really just built for gaming and just comfort, and that's really all they're built for. But that level of comfort just to me is not worth $130. And that said, it's not like my $30 pair or even my $80 moon drops aren't comfortable. They're plenty comfortable as well. But like I said earlier, I'm just happy to see that a big box company is kind of getting people to look at IEMs and even use them as a bit of a gateway drug. But I will say, if you end up doing that, you're going to realize that you drastically overpaid for the mores. And all right, thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Links for the mores, if you want to buy them, are going to be found in the description below. And yet again, do not forget to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and finally, these are just all my opinions. Everyone's different, but this is why we have the freedom to choose.